Hey, good morning, everybody. And Oh, wait a minute. We're going to wait right there for a second because I got a little podcast problem. Okay, there we go. There we go. I hope that's better now. All right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 40 of the Michael Pena Senior Show. It's April 25th, 2018. Listen, C.S. Lewis said, Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. And you know, I'm bringing that up today because there's a lot of words that I use in the show. All right. And, you know, we're going to get into integrity today. And the word, you know, I, I use a lot of words on this show for self improvement, whether it be accountability, self awareness from yesterday, boundaries, health, wealth. You know, I'm bringing up integrity today. And that's being honest with other people because of the conversations I had this weekend with a lot of um, people. You know, I, I, I'm in front of a lot of people in a lot of different ways, you know, whether it be sports or whatever. And people know what I'm doing now for work. And they want to talk to me about finances. And for some reason, they think that uh, they think it's OK. And they want to talk to me about how they're beating the system and how they're, you know, doing things to kind of cheat the system. And it, and it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't resonate with me. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I, and I hope I don't get angry when I start talking about this because it does piss me off. And I'll tell you that right now. Because I say that I want to build my community one person at a time. I don't want to build it with cheaters. I don't want to build it with people that are trying to beat the system. I want people that hold themselves at a high integrity, you know. So, you know, when you you talk to me about beating the taxes or not paying taxes on money and all this stuff, you know, first of all, Trump's put into into effect the standard deduction and in, in, in his high, you know, you know, got it to a point where if you got a combined income, if you're making 50 grand a year, basically you're not paying any income taxes anyway. So when you're trying to beat the system, all you're doing is putting yourself at risk and, and it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I mean, I'm, I'm telling clients all the time, take a look at what you're claiming on your taxes. If you're claiming zero, you're claiming one, go to HR and, and, and go tell them you want to claim four because that's the whole point of what Trump's doing is to get more money in your pocket. All right. So when you're talking about trying to, uh, you know, beat the system, not paying taxes and all this stuff, I tell you what, all you're doing is hurting yourself. Okay. And you're not holding yourself to a high integrity. Because I tell people that and they start talking to me and it's, I try to ignore, I go, listen, that's an integrity problem. And a lot of people don't like that, but I don't care because those people that are cheaters, I don't want on my team anyway. All right. So, you know, I love doing, I love doing research for the show because I know my own opinion on some things, you know, but I got to get, you know, some secondary opinions, obviously. And there's a, there's a guy named Thomas J. Stanley. He he's a, a PA, he has a PhD and he passed away in 2014, but he did a study on millionaires in 2010 and he did a study on welfare recipients at the same time. He said 24% of all welfare recipients are cheaters. So that they shouldn't be getting welfare. But of course, you know, that they spend that time like a full-time job trying to figure out how to beat the system, how to cheat the system. And they want to be on welfare. I, I mean, who would want to cheat the system being be on welfare? I got no idea. Welfare was put into place for people who need it, you know. And, and it is a good system, you know, because you don't want to have, you know, FDR put welfare into place to make sure that we didn't have, you know, an economic collapse where people are in bread lines and stuff like that. So, you know, that's what welfare is for, for people who do need it. So if you need it, I got no problem with you. You know, you're not a cheater. You're doing things the right way. You're doing things within the system. All right. It's those people out there. And I, and I live in Brockton. All right. And people that don't live in Brockton, just to know, let you know, it, it, it's an urban community. You know, it's not the Brockton I grew up in. And I had Jack Lally in here. And, and it was great to have him in here. And it's good to have some positive influences in Brockton. But it ain't the Brockton I grew up in. Okay. And a lot of people that know me and know the time era that I grew up in understand that. You know, it, there were factories and everything that, that were closing during my time. The Westgate Mall was put in, so downtown shops were being closed. So, you know, a lot of things changed while I was growing up in Brockton. 
and you had those hard working, you know, factory workers. We were kids of those hard working factory workers that are disappearing with the factories that disappeared. And now you got coming in a lot more welfare recipients. And nothing pisses me off more than the welfare cheaters. The welfare cheaters, and it's not hard to see, you go driving by one of these ghettos where these people are living, and, and all of a sudden you see they got there's a Mercedes or there's a brand new Cadillac, and it's like, you know, come on. All they care about is cheating the system. They may look like they got something, but they got nothing because they got nothing in the inside. All right, so... To go back to Thomas J. Stanley, I kind of went off a little bit there. You know, in the long run, he says, economic gain is easier and more psychologically rewarding if one is truthful. So, I mean, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Don't be a cheater. You know, don't be dishonest. Be truthful with yourself. Be truthful with what you're doing. And, oh, by the way, millionaires in his survey rate integrity as the number one factor for their economic success. I, I mean, I mean that says it all. I mean, 24% of all welfare recipients are cheaters, they're losers. I told you before to get rid of your loser, it's loser friend. Well, if you got a welfare recipient that's a friend of yours, that's driving a brand new car, that's a loser. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. I don't like cheaters. I don't like losers. They, they're they not going to be on my team. So I don't care if I'm calling you out and you're listening to this. You want to call me out? Chances are you're a loser cheater. That's trying to call me out right now because I'm talking about this. All right? Because I want to be a millionaire. And part of that millionaire success is having high integrity. That's the number one thing that they rate. All right, the number one thing is having integrity, which is being honest with other people. That's being honest with yourself, all right? So, I mean, you ask yourself which direction that you wanna go. Do you wanna be a loser cheetah? Or do you wanna be a millionaire success with high integrity? You don't even have to ask me that question. I can give you that answer, and it's obvious what I wanna do. So listen. I had to get that off my chest because I had too many people coming up to me and talking to me about, you know, dishonest cheating things. And, and I'm sorry, I don't want to hear it. All right. I love talking finances, but I don't like about cheating in finances. All right. I, ho I hold myself to a high integrity. I want you to do the same thing. Okay. If you want to be on my team, you better have high integrity. If you're a cheater and a loser, you're not even going to be part of my team. All right. So. Well, that being said, okay, I hope um, you got something out of that show. But listen, I got Thomas T. Rad Radley coming in here. Download podbean.com and listen to these interviews. These are people I'm surrounding myself with. These people have high integrity. I want you to have that high integrity. These people that I'm interviewing at a young age, they got high integrity. They got honesty. Jack Lally, ooh, you could hear it in his voice, the honesty. Okay, and when you hear that honesty... It just makes you say, these are the type of people that you want around you. These are the winners that you want in your life, okay? So let's listen to what Thomas T. Rad Radley has to say. I go from an athlete to a politician to a hip-hop artist, but they all got a lot in common, all right? Because they got honesty, and that's what I like to hear, okay? So check that out, podbean.com. You know, unfortunately... We had a, a and, I, and I, if Jack, you're watching this, I'm sorry. We had technical difficulties. We've had a couple of technical difficulties on this show. And one was losing the picture on episode 35, but I got the sound. If you see it on, on, on Podbean, when we lost the sound on uh, video for YouTube, and I have no idea what happened. And, and I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and I hope that. Um, you know, if you're out there and you want to help me and you want to help build my show, you know, I, I can use you. I can use help. I, I got people helping me, but I need more. All right. So reach out to me. Coach P2210 at yahoo.com. You know, Peanut Financial Coaching live. We're going to have T-Rad on live on Peanut Financial Coaching. So check that out. All right. So listen, I'm living my passion one day at a time. I want to win. I want to help you win. Let's win together.